Welcome to Gibbs Stadium. We're on a perfect fall Saturday afternoon. The Wofford Terriers open Southern Conference play as they take on longtime rival the Citadel Bulldogs. The Terriers open play with a record of two and two. The Bulldogs coming off a convincing win over Gardner Webb last week are one and three. Big streak hanging out there. The Terriers have beaten the Bulldogs 15 consecutive years. Can they keep that streak going and at the same time win the conference opener? Here are your highlights. The clock says something. 13 and I'm not sure what it is. What else the rest of it is? 12.55. But the bottom line is that clock may be accurate, but it's not accurate for this time. We're going to go out. There's going to be a ceremony for Coach Hanny. All right. So what I have to tell you is real short and real simple. It's got to be a we day. It's got to be a we day. You can't be selfish today. You cannot be a guy that for whatever reason, you're not in the moment. You got to be there. There will be opportunities in this game for us to take it, control it, and go on and win it. But we must be ready for those moments. We have fought our brains out trying to get ready for this game. The coaches have spent numerous hours trying to give you the best plan. The plan is no good without the people the people that understand and understand what to do, how to do it, and then you go out and you play your heart out. The one thing that I can tell you about Lee Hanning is this, his heart was in this program. His heart was in this program. He was a selfless individual who cared more for this program than he did for himself. <coughs> His whole dream and his whole goal was for each and every one of you guys to achieve success. He always, always, always had a mindset that we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. We can. We can. Today is the day. Time is now. There's no no room for backing up, slowing down, getting down, or staying down. <coughs> and the last one's the key. If you happen to go down, you get your tail up and you fight again. Let's go out. Let's give the old man. Let's give him some. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the colors being presented here at Gibbs and I believe we will momentarily have a tribute to Lee Hanning. On Thursday, Wofford yep, College, let's hear that. the Spartanburg community and our nation lost a mentor, a hero and a friend. Coach Lee Hanning. I've been Wofford, Wofford in 1989, in 1989 as, a as a football equipment assistant and shortly thereafter began a highly successful tenure of coaching our kickers and punters. Hanning retired after the 1996 season, but returned in 1998 and worked with the team through the 2009 season. Thereafter, he volunteered his time with the Terrier men's golf team. Prior to Wofford and a successful business career, Lee Hanning helped chart the course of history. As a member of the 101st Airborne Division, Hanning parachuted onto Utah Beach on June 6, 1944, D-Day. His unit was tagged with controlling bridges and destroying enemy communication lines in the Allies' first true thrust at regaining control of Europe from the Nazis. Hanning moved with American forces into Holland and eventually Germany. He also fought in the Battle of the Bulge. Born October 26, 1923, Lee Hanning epitomized the values embodied by the term we have come to know how many World War II veterans as a member of the greatest generation. At this time, we will remember and honor Coach Hanning's service for a grateful nation with the playing of taps.
Citadel second down and five from their 43 right hash. They have a fullback, two slots, two wide outs, one either side. They rarely, if ever, use a tight end. Wofford three down linemen, four on the line of scrimmage. Again, Miller running the option right. He'll keep, and he'll get about four, crossing the 45 to the 47. That'll bring up third and short. First and 10 at the Terrier 47, right hash. Wofford three down linemen, four on the line of scrimmage. Miller will hand it away to one of his slot backs up the middle, and this time Stenson is bottled up for no gain. Boston Bryan plugging up the hole for Wofford. Ball in the center of the hash marks now. And it looks like Aaron Miller is checking out of something and into something else. Play clock down to three. Fakes the dive to his fullback. Carries right, and Tarek Odom ran him down from behind. A burst of speed from Wofford's defensive end, Tarek Odom. That's just a two-yard gain for Aaron Miller as he is run down at the 18-yard line. Second and eight at the Terrier 18. This time, two receivers to the left. That's the wide side of the field. One slot, a fullback. Miller fakes the dive, pitches near corner, and Cam Jackson can't get away from Khalil Green. And then the rest of the Terriers bring him down. Jaleel Green knifing through from his safety spot. The Terriers would love for a field goal attempt here. No score, 10 minutes to play first quarter. Third and nine for the Citadel at the Terrier 19 left hash. Two receivers to the right, fake of the dive. Pitch far corner on the ground. Stenson can't pick it up. It is still loose and the Citadel recovers it back at the 26. And look at the win. That's the other point, excellent point. Would have been blowing into his face. Real quick, Terrier's offensive line. Davis Lenore, Daquan Miller, Bradley Way, TJ Chamberlain, and Antoine Warby. Evan Jacks is the quarterback. We were expecting to see Will Gay and Ray Smith and Lorenzo Long in the backfield. Wofford's going to start, looks like, with three wide receivers. Terriers take over after the missed opportunity on downs. They're going to start at the 26 in their end of the field, moving from left to right toward the Richardson Center with the wind at their back. First and 10 from the 26. Citadel putting five on the line of scrimmage. Four linemen down. Jacks running the option right. Cut block out in front and good room 30. Jacks 40. Breaks a tackle there to the 50. Cuts it back inside to the hash mark. 45 to the 40. Evan Jacks with a big run to get the day started. Third and six at the Bulldog 37. Three backs in a triangle surrounding the quarterback. Jacks out of the gun. Handoff, sweeping right, Ray Smith won't get there. Inside the 35, he is tackled from behind at the 33 by Oxendine, a first-team all-conference preseason selection, and the Terriers are looking at fourth down and about two. Offered lining up to go for it on fourth down. They are four for nine on fourth this year. Fourth and two at the Citadel 43, or make that 33. Three backs alongside the quarterback, handoff gay, sweeping left, breaks a tackle, first down to the 30, bounces off a man at the 25 to the 20, lowers the shoulder down to the 15 yard line, he has gained tackle there, a first down run of 18 yards for Will Gay. Did you see how Will Gay was almost seeking people out to hit? Yes. He could have easily gone out of bounds, but was almost looking to cut back into the interior, and you're right, Mark, lowering the shoulder. Moats wide to the right. That's the wide side of the field. One man goes to the left. Out of the gun, Jacks with two backs. Fakes the dive, running the option right, looking for a seam. Gets to the 10, brought down from behind at the 7. Terriers trying to cash in on their first possession of the day. It started at their 26 after taking over on downs. First and goal at the three right hash. Jacks again from the gun with two backs. Turn, handoff, right side. Lorenzo Long at the two, at the one. He is spotted down at the one. I mean, I say second and goal at the one foot line. It's closer than that. It's, yeah, three inch line. Second and goal from very close in. Two tight ends, quarterback sneak, right side, Evan Jacks, touchdown Terriers. Wofford has the initial lead. Great drive by Wofford, converting on a fourth down, couple of third downs. Nice to see, particularly after the defense held on fourth down that the Citadel had. Evan Jacks running for the score. Citadel faced with this third and mid to long. They were one for two on third downs in their first drive. Late first quarter, Wofford up 7-0. Third and six for the Citadel from their 26. Right hash. They send one receiver to the right, one man short split to the left. Miller back to throw, puts it up far side, over the head of the intended receiver, and incomplete. They wanted Cam Jackson releasing from his slot position. Miller threw it too far. It is fourth down. Wofford up 7-0. They start from their 34 first and 10. 
sending two receivers to the right, one man to the left. Jack's out of the gun with two backs. Handoff in just a oh, yard ball. or two, and the ball is out. It is loose at the 35, and this time the Citadel has it. Mitchell Jeter has recovered the fumble. First and 10, the Citadel at the Terrier 35. Wide outs either side. Miller back to pass, play action, plenty of time. Throws down the middle, and that pass is... He caught it in traffic. First and 10 at the Terrier 16. That play went for 19. Miller looking to throw. Lobs it toward the far corner of the end zone. Diving try at the pylon. Incomplete. He overshoots his receiver. Big play coming up here. Can the Terrier stiffen in the red zone? Citadel's been in the red zone once today, and they did not score. Third and six at the Terrier 12, center of the field. Wide left, Jordan, one receiver to the right. Two slots and a B-back. Turn, handoff to one of the slots, and Cam Jackson is stood up and sat down at the 11-yard line. He only got one at his fourth down and five. Form tackle by John Patterson, Terrier linebacker, filling the gap. And it is fourth and five on his field goals this year. Right-footed kicker out of the hold of Dane Anderson. Kick on the way, plenty of height end over end and good. And the Bulldogs get three points out of the Terrier turnover. Building, growing breeze they could be punting into if they don't do something here. Third and 13 from the 11. Jacks from the gun, two receivers left. Fakes the dive, wants to run the option to the short side. Lorenzo Long, 15-20. Far sideline, close to the first down. Let's see where they mark him out. About the 23-yard line, he is very close to the marker. Mitchell Jeter ran him out of bounds. The question is, did he get enough? No. He's less than a yard short, though. Wide right, Will Irwin. Two receivers come to the left. Francis to the outside. Second and 16 from the 20. Jack's out of the gun with two backs. And he will fake the dive to long. Pitches near corner. Ray Smith wheels away from the tackle at the 20, 25. To the 30, out to the 32. Big run for Ray Smith. Wofford up 7-3. Clock moving, 12-44 to play first half. Terriers third down and four from their 32 left hash. Out of the gun, Jacks with two backs. Running the option right, looking for the seam. Breaks the tackle, first down. Crosses the 35 to the 40. Out of bounds, far sideline. At about the 37-yard line. Evan Jacks had one man to beat on the corner and he did Joe Cochet finally ran him out of bounds from his defensive end spot third and mid third and seven Wofford from their 45 wing bone one receiver to the right Citadel five on the line of scrimmage handoff up the middle big yards for the fullback first down run to the 50 Lorenzo Long to the 45 to the 44 first down Terriers Devonte Delaney with the tackle in the secondary for the Citadel wideouts go either side and the officials say, let's play. Wofford will go out of the double deuce, as they like to call it. Jacks from the gun with two backs split behind him. A wing lined up to the right. Jacks with a handoff. Lorenzo Long, big hole slanting left to the 40. He'll take it to the 35. He is upended at the 34. He got 10 more. Malik digs with the tackle. Lorenzo Long came into the week, averaging 6.2 yards per carry. Jacks from the gun, this time the three-back formation in a triangle surrounding the quarterback. Wide outs either side. Citadel again, four down linemen. Jacks running the option left, cuts it back to his right, breaks tackles, 30, far side 25, and he is high tackled the 21. Another big run for the quarterback. It is fourth down, and here comes the field goal unit. Line of scrimmage is the 12, so this will be a 29-yard try for David Marvin. Two for two on his field goal tries this year. The holder is Sanders, the snapper is Comer. Good snap, spot down, Marvin's kick, plenty of height, and he got it. Wofford adds to their lead. David Marvin caps off a long drive with a field goal of 29 yards. One receiver will come to the right, that is Brandon Eakins. This time they have a tight end lined up to the right. They don't do that often. Two slots and a fullback. Fake of the dive. Pitch near corner. Stinson trying to get outside. And he is wrestled to the ground by Cole Higby. Maybe got a yard or two, but Higby firing up from his safety spot from Tyrone, Georgia, and landmark Christian High School with the stop. His grandfather played at Georgia Tech. He would have been proud right there. Wofford leading 10-3, 2.48 to play in the second quarter. The Citadel third and seven at the Terrier 46. 
Right hash, play action, Miller to throw. Near side, that is caught. First down reception, Eakins at the 30. Takes it to the 25-yard line. First down, Bulldogs. A 21-yard reception right there for Brandon Eakins under the coverage of Bernard Williams, who made the tackle along with Kevin Thomas. Let's just say he was given a cushion. Yeah. Have all three of their timeouts remaining. Wofford with none on second down and seven. Miller faking the dive, wants to get to the right corner, hemmed in, and he'll be snowed under after a one yard gain. Kevin Thomas, one of those there for Wofford. Eric Goins lining up for a 35 yard try from the right hash mark. His holder is Dane Anderson. Hunter Morris is the snapper. Snap a little high, spot down, kick plenty of distance. He got it. And with 15 seconds to play in the half, Wofford's lead is now 10-6. Terriers with the ball now at their 15-yard line, and again they go from the wing bone. Jax will throw to the far side, caught at the numbers. Will Irwin at the 20, races ahead to the 26 and a half before he is dropped, so that play gets 11. Second and seven Bulldogs at the Terrier 23-yard line. 10-6, Wofford leading. Citadel's first possession of the second half. They've got one slot to the right, the fullback, and two receivers to the right. And it's a fake to the fullback. Pitch far corner, Jackson gets to the outside to the 20, and he will go out of bounds for a first down at the Terrier 14 and a half yard line. Nine more on the pitch to Cam Jackson, the redshirt freshman. He is stopped by Jaleel Green. Second down, a long six from the Terrier, 11 and a half. Two receivers split to the right, two slots and a fullback once again. And it's a handoff to the slot. Cam Jackson slanting left to the five. He scores standing up, and the Citadel has their first lead of the day. Touchdown run for Cam Jackson. Ball in the center of the field, first and 10 from the 25. Francis wide to the left, Irwin wide to the right, wing bone set for the Terriers. Jax fakes the dive, runs the option right, has a seam, 30. Up the hash mark, 40. Cuts it inside to the 50. Evan with blockers at the 40. On his feet still to the 30. Evan Jax run down from behind at the Bulldog 27 yard line. First down, Wofford, a big run. Is that enough uh, of a run or enough of momentum for you right there? Woo. Evan Jack spotted down at the Bulldog 28 yard line, so give him 47. Clock moving, third quarter, seven and a half minutes to play. 13 to 10, the Citadel leading, but the Terriers knocking on the door. First and goal from the four and a half. Wide left Francis, wide right Irwin. Jacks this time will work from the shotgun with two backs, a tight end to the left. Handoff, long, right up the gut, churning as he cuts it back to his right. He fumbles the ball, and the Bulldogs have come up with it. Mark Thomas has come out of there with the football, and the Terriers turn it over at the three-yard line. Ouch. Conference opener, the Citadel leading Wofford 13 to 10. Wide left goes Eakins. Tight end lines up to the left. And it's a fake of the dive, and Miller this time is hogtied by Tarek Odom, and here comes everybody else. After he picks up just a yard, it'll be third and seven. Terrier defense, here is your chance. Tarek Odom got in there, grabbed him about around the waist, and wouldn't let go. Big play. Yeah, big opportunity here for Wofford. First and 10 Terriers from the 26. Jacks from the gun with two running backs. Flat pass near side. Irwin has it with a blocker. Takes it to the 30. And he'll be dropped at the 32. So Wofford's last drive, very efficient. Drove it from there, 25. Inside the Bulldogs, five-yard line. But a fumble by Lorenzo Long. Short-circuited things. Second and five from the 31, out of the wing bone. Counter give, Will Gay, big hole up the middle, 30. 35, 40, Will Gay to the 50. Drax tacklers to the 45, down to the Citadel 41 yard line. First and 10 Terriers at the Bulldog, 41. Two receivers right, Francis to the short side. That's the left, in motion right goes the tight end, Muller. Out of the gun, Jack's running the option, has a seam as he keeps to the 40, to the 35. Second and seven at the Bulldog, 25 right hash. Jack's from the gun, two backs, long and gay behind him. Fake of the dive to gay. Evan Jacks has a seam, 20, 10, five, touchdown! The Terriers lead it. Big hole, Will Gay was looking for somebody to block and there was nobody there. Great uh, execution up front. 25-yard touchdown run for Evan Jacks. Nobody touched him. And the Terriers go back on top with 17 seconds to play in the third quarter. Second down and six for quarterback Aaron Miller. 
One receiver to the left, that's the wide side. The fullback is Renew with two slots. Man in motion right, play action Miller. Plenty of time, heaves it deep over the middle. Incomplete, nowhere near the intended receiver. He wanted Eakins, but uh, he missed him by a good 15 yards wide left. Trying to work here. I know, sorry. <laughs> Wofford up 17-13, opening minute, fourth quarter. Third and 13, Bulldogs from the 30. Miller rolling to his left, under fire. Goodbye, he's sacked. Terrence Morris got him. What a time for Terrence Morris to come up with his second career sack. The red shirt freshman came off unblocked from the edge from his linebacker spot, and it is fourth down. That play loses eight yards. Big time play that time by Morris. Played his assignment perfectly. Third and 10 from the 39 right hash. Francis to the right, Irwin to the left. Wingbone, Citadel, three down linemen, seven in the box. And it's gonna be an end around. Here comes Irwin to the right corner, 40, 45. First down to the 50. He will drag a man to the 45. He has finally stopped at the 44. 36, Wingbone, wide outs either side. Bulldogs, seven in the box, four on the line of scrimmage. Jacks under center. Fakes the dive to Long, wants to make right corner, first down, 35 to the 30, he'll race out of bounds near sideline at the 26 yard line. First down run for Evan Jacks. Offered 44, Miller digs it out, fakes the dive, pitch near corner, take into the 40, first down run to the Terrier 38 yard line. On the sweep to the left, that is Cam Jackson on the carry. Breon Anderson made his tackle from the corner spot and run support, but it's a first down run for the Bulldogs. Down in about two. That's yeah, definitely four down territory here for Citadel. Especially down four points. Yep. Three and a half minutes to play fourth quarter. Wofford's lead is 17-13. The Citadel fourth down and two at the Terrier 31. Left hash mark. Two receivers right, a wing to the right. One fullback. Under center, Miller. Handoff, Isaiah Smith right side. I don't uh -uh. think he made it. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. They're going to spot him down at the 30-yard line. And I think Wofford's going to get the ball on downs. We'll wait for the spot. He's we short. will see. It looks like he is short. The Terrier defense saying they have held. The officials spot the ball at the 30. The chain says they have to get to the 29. And indeed it is. Wofford football with 3.11 to play. Dylan Young made the tackle along with the big guy, Tarek Odom. That's a big time play by the Terrier defense. And we'll get a timeout, it looks like, Mark. Breaking the action, three minutes, 11 seconds to play in the ball game. Wofford about to get the ball, leading at 17. If this punt isn't good and they get good field position, I don't think the clock will be a huge factor. 2.55 is plenty of time, especially in college ball where you stop the clock to move the sticks. Yeah. Sanders has really got to get one out here and get it up into that wind and let the wind push it and hang it up there. Brian Sanders, a sophomore, 6'3", 190, a business econ and German major. Big punt coming here. Comer will snap it to him. He'll catch it at the 11. Citadel with one man deep at the 40. Sanders with the rugby style line drive kick will bounce in front of the return man who fields it at the 34 and then he is hit immediately. The return man for the Bulldogs, DeAndre Schultz, is hit by Jaleel Green. Not a bad punt, and now here we go. The Bulldogs have to go 66 yards in two minutes and 45 seconds with no timeouts. Clock rolls with 2.25 to go. Wofford's lead is 17-13. Second and five from the 40 for the Bulldogs. Two receivers left, one to the right. Miller will throw, first down reception at the right sideline, caught by Jordan, and then he is wrestled down at the 49-yard line by Breon Anderson, a nine-yard reception. They'll stop the clock to move the chains. We're at 2.12 to play. Quick first down for the Bulldogs. Ball at the Wofford 25-yard line. Four receivers to either side, a single back behind Aaron Miller out of the gun. Five-step drop, throws to the far side, first down reception at the 15. The receiver immediately knocked out of bounds. It is caught by Eakins. Breon Anderson bumped him out at the 14-yard line. We have 22 seconds to go. The Citadel converts. It's first down. First and 10 at the Terrier 14. <laughs> 
Van Hip asking if we have nitroglycerin tablets. We'll find some. First and 10 at the 14. In motion right goes Vinnie Miller. Aaron Miller throws. Caught by Vinnie Miller at the 10. Takes it to the 5. Spun down at the 3 yard line. They will stop the clock to move the chains with 15 seconds to go. It is first and goal. Breon Anderson with the tackle kept him out of the end zone. First and goal at the three. They'll roll the clock momentarily with 15 seconds to play. The fullback is Tyler Renew. They have two slots in there. Vinny Miller and Cam Jackson. Aaron Miller under center. Miller digs it out. Looking to throw. Low throw incomplete front corner of the end zone. And now we're down to nine seconds. It'll be third and goal from the three. They wanted Eakins in the far right corner of the end zone, but the pass was low. Jaleel Green in pass coverage. It's third and goal with nine seconds remaining. Play clock at 17 as Aaron Miller will huddle him up. This is it. Fourth and goal from the three. One second left. Two receivers left, one to the right, a slot left. Miller up under center, Vinnie Miller in motion. Aaron Miller, quarterback draw, diving for the goal line. No signal yet. He didn't get there. Wofford has won the football game. The Terriers win it. Aaron Miller was stopped short at the half yard line. Holy. Steven Cornelier with the tackle. Holy cow, and Citadel is absolutely stunned. What a great call, but a better defensive play. Holy cow, Mark Hauser. What a way to start conference play. Aaron Miller on the quarterback draw. Looked like he stretched Mark. out, may have had it, but he didn't. Wofford wins it by four. Sharpen it up. Let's stay focused tonight. Let's take care of ourselves tonight. Let's enjoy this tonight. But as soon as that rooster crows in the morning, let's get in. Understand, we're going up. Two years in a row, I ain't sure how the scheduling worked, but we gotta go back there. They're a quality team. They got, they got a real good, cohesive group that plays together. We're gonna have to do the same, we're gonna have to match it. Strength versus strength. So, can't tell you how much this game meant to me and to our staff because of coach. If you would, bow with me. Dear God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for these men. They're learning some lessons, sometimes easy, sometimes hard. They had a role model. And he passed, but I know he's looking and he's smiling. He was a great leader. He was a great man. He was a great soldier. He was a great friend. The coach had him. God bless you. Go now! <laughs> Coach had them all the way, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, down to the final second. Excellent football team uh, from Charleston, the Citadel Bulldogs. Coach Houston's done a fabulous job with those guys. We knew it was going to be exactly the way that it played out. We were hoping that it wouldn't, but uh, uh, they're tough. They're, they're tough. They're grinders. They, they take after their coach. And uh, their staff did a great job. Our staff did a great job. Uh, would like to have not turned the ball over a couple times, which could have really helped us. But uh, this is one of those games that uh, everybody in the stands on the last play, they were all standing. And um, just very 
proud of the way our kids hung together. Uh, we, we dedicated this game to uh, Coach Hanning, and uh, we're, uh, we're proud that uh, we could do that and proud that we delivered. Talk about the fact that at the end of the ball game, it's first and goal at the three. They've got about 15 seconds to yeah. work with. Yeah. What did your defense do so well? Well, they didn't let them in. Uh, the, the big thing was uh, the spacing of the defense. Uh, that was huge. Uh, did a much better job secondary-wise of uh, taking away easy throws and things like that. Uh, and then the, the front uh, pressured. Uh, Coach Fuquay did a great job calling uh, the defense, and uh, and uh, we were really concerned with the quarterback. He's a big physical guy. He's strong, and uh, it, you know they they set you up with a three by one set, and he'll start. And next thing you know, he's coming back on the quarterback draw. Uh, our defensive front, uh, boy, they 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 got after it today, and and uh, linebackers. Uh, Gosh, Kevin, uh, Drake, uh, Lincoln, all, all those guys, they, they were they were playing, playing hard. Uh, Terrence, he came through with some plays and stuff like that. And uh, the, the D linemen, uh, those guys, man, they were battling in the trenches. And uh, you, you had uh, EJ and you had a uh, little buddy and you had uh, Boston, uh, it, there, there were so many guys out there. It seemed like they, they took turns making that, that critical play, that, 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 that tackle. Uh, we kept them uh, limited, and, uh, and, and they can be very explosive. I, I will guarantee you that they can be explosive. Um, but uh, overall, I, I think that we grew as a team, and uh, hopefully it's going to make us better. I got to ask you about the final play because you didn't have the best angle to see where the quarterback got in. You're not down on the goal right, line. Right. So what's it like for you waiting for the official to figure out what he's going to call? Uh, it, it's uh, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. Uh, you're there and uh, you know it's over, but uh, you don't know if it's over. And uh, we we ended up. Uh, Making it happen, uh, stopping him, and uh, and uh, again a, a great win. I, I was, boy, oh boy, uh, this is probably uh, as good a win as we've had for a long time here at Gibbs. And uh, and that those guys they came up, and you know they they beat Gardner Webb. Uh, they've had an opportunity, quite frankly, to to win every game. Maybe not the Florida State game, but they gave Florida State all they want. And so uh, we knew they, they were an outstanding team. Record was not indicative of the quality of their team. All right, offensively, decent day moving the football. Yeah. Evans seemed very comfortable, almost 150 yards rushing for him. Yeah, uh, they, they wanted him to run it, and uh, we're more than happy to let him run it. Uh, tough guy, golly, is he tough. And uh, he took some shots and, uh, and bounced right up and I, I think the the game is you know it's coming to him uh, you know uh, he, he's he feels more comfortable he feels uh, I, I think that uh, he understands it he trusts himself he trusts his reads and uh, and, and he's really developed I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about coach Hanning yeah during the playing of the national anthem. We yeah. looked down, saw you. You were standing at attention, saluting the flag. It almost looked like you were back in your Marine uniform. Yeah. Was that somewhat, I mean, I'm sure you salute the flag all the time, but there, was that a coach handing moment for you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, coach. So the Terriers hang on, and indeed win their conference opener this afternoon, 17-13 over the Citadel. Wofford now 1-0 and in league play. Overall, they hike their record to 3-2. and Next up, a trip Saturday to Cullowee, North Carolina, where the Terriers will take on a much improved Western Carolina squad. That'll kick off at 3.30. We'll have the radio call starting at 3 o'clock on the Wofford IMG Sports Network. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.